Hey, welcome back to the Lover of Tech channel. This is your host, Ben. I'm just bringing you back onto the gaming aspect of the channel with the PC performance of Gears of War 4. So it's been a while since I've done a gaming review in terms of PC performance on my system. The last game that I did was Mirror's Edge Catalyst. And I really wanted to bring you guys some footage of Gears of War 4 running live on my PC. Um, this is actually one of my favorite game series and game um that uh, that I've played over you know many years actually from the original gears of war that was released on xbox 360 that was like you know one of the top games in terms of showcasing the power of the unreal engine 3 which was released by epic games lead game designer cliff Brzezinski, who's now left epic games you know pitched it to microsoft studios and it took the game on board and it's been one of their most successful ips and I'm really glad that with the new installment of Gears of War 4, which is actually the fifth game installment, if you actually include Gears of War Judgment, um, that now is actually being brought to the PC. And it's really, really nice to play. It's actually one of my favorite games that I play on the PC. It's probably the game I play the most on the PC at the moment in terms of, you know, when I get time to play games. Um, the graphics are amazing. This is probably one of the only few games that really showcases what the Unreal Engine 4 can do for this generation, which is really, really good in terms of things like, you know, modern rendering techniques and in terms of textures, character models, lighting, ambient occlusion, physics, and even just how well optimized it is for the PC from the console. Um, because of the, you know, universal Windows platform that they've got on there, the UWP where it's kind of the play anywhere platform from playing on Xbox and playing on the PC because um, I spend a lot of time on this game with my brother in Canada and he has an Xbox and we play online together uh, on horde mode and I'm on PC which is really such a nice touch actually come to think about it and um, yeah I really want to actually show you some gameplay footage of Gears of War 4 running on my system um, at the moment, my system is running an Intel Core i7-4790K that's been overclocked from 4 GHz to 4.5 GHz. I'm still on the DDR3 platform in terms of memory, 32 GB of RAM, um, running at 1866 MHz in terms of speed. The graphics card that I'm running is the GTX 1080. This is the Founders Edition. Um, running actually slightly higher than the standard base clock which the standard base clock if i remember right is 1607 megahertz i've got an extra 200 megahertz on the core which boosts us up to 2 gigahertz um, with nvidia gpu boost 3.0 technology i've also added an extra 300 megahertz to the memory so the memory is actually running higher um, main reason why i've done that is actually based on my native resolution of 20 2048 by 1152 I've got a lot of graphics headroom in terms of actually the GTX 1080 that I have. It's a very comparable, you know, GPU that runs at 1440p. So I've actually been able to bump it up in that respect. Um, I've got the latest NVIDIA drivers to date, which should be 382.05 to date, which is the current NVIDIA drivers, if I remember right. Um, so yeah, what I wanted to do was actually jump into the game and show you the graphical settings that I'm actually using for Gears of War 4 on the PC. As you can see, I've got all the settings actually on custom. So I've got custom settings. You've got presets on there. The presets are based on recommended, ultra high, medium low, but I've got it on my custom settings in full screen mode. One thing that is really, really good is that you can scale it up and do dynamic super resolution within the game's engine rather than using Nvidia's DSR within the drivers, which is really, really good. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to scale this up to 1440p, even though the native resolution that I'm on is actually a 1080p or slightly higher than 1080p resolution. There's a lot of graphics headroom. The frame rate is uncapped. Vertical sync, V-sync is off. Brightness is set to 52%. Field of view, I like it around 82, 85. Um, it's going to show the stats as well, but also I'll be using MSI Afterburner, which is going to be running at the top left. You'll be seeing it soon. Um, the offset for the HUD as well is down to zero. Texture settings for the character is ultra, high as it can go. Um, world texture detail is ultra. Effects is also ultra. Um, lighting effects as well in terms of texture details, ultra. Texture filtering is time 16 anisotropic. 
um, we've also got anti-aliasing which is an ultra I would like to see something that gives you a lot more detail in terms of whether it's times 2 times 4 times 8 times 16 what type of anti-aliasing is it running is it running multi-sample anti-aliasing SMAA TXAA FXAA temporal based um, I think it's running a temporal based anti-aliasing system in ultra um, because as a temporal a sharpening option here which I've left at zero foliage draw distance world level detail character level detail motion blur motion blur intensity um, I've left it quite low even though it's on ultra lighting and shadows as well light shaft and quality light scattering quality as well lens flare quality bloom shadow quality capsule um, shadow quality screen space shadow quality ambient occlusion quality ambient occlusion intensity post processing effects as well um, the quality of that is also ultra screen space reflections environment reflections are on refractions are also on particle spawn rate as well in terms of physics sharpening depth of field subsurface scattering as well these are all set to ultra maximum settings and if you also go to the advanced video options if i save this and go to the advanced video options dynamic resolution scaling is off now what basically dynamic resolution scaling is is based on the intensity of the game it will scale the resolution to match the intensity of the game to give you the highest performing frame rate as possible so your performance doesn't dip I've turned this up because I've got a lot of graphics headroom in terms of um, resolution as well as um, ultra settings as well as frame rate asynchronous compute which is a very talked about feature in the new application program interface API setting which is DirectX 12 for this generation which is on um, my graphics card is a DX12 card enabled but without getting into too much detail um, async compute is kind of like a very different way of you know pipeline processing between amd and nvidia at the minute so i'll leave that for another section another time tab resources are also on um audio settings are also there gives you an idea of you know what you can put in there in terms of subtitles push your talk voice activation music and effects um you've got controller settings and you've also got mouse and key binding settings as well which is really good you can change your key bindings gives you the flexibility that you can use it on the keyboard settings and that is pretty much what i'm running so i'm running this at maximum settings at 1440p which is going to be really interesting to see how this game runs it really runs well optimized and it's really good to see how this game will be operating so let's jump right into the game and see how the game runs so into the game so as you can see i've got msi afterburner running at the top left and it shows you the frame rate at the top, um, current frame rate in terms of performance and how the game is running. Below that would be which graphics card I'm running, which is the GTX 1080 Founders Edition. The percentage next to it is how intense the graphics card is working, which is at 99%, 100% all the time. The temperature the graphics card is running, the core frequency in megahertz, which is currently sitting at 1,950 megahertz, slightly below two gigahertz. Um, the memory frequency of the graphics card as well, which is now running at 5,301 megahertz. The VRAM, how much RAM is actually being used out of the eight gigabytes, which is around six gigabytes over. Um, the CPU temperature at the moment, which is running. And also the Core i7-4790K, the load that is running out. This is a quad core with hyper threading. So you're having eight threads being utilized. And then you have the system memory which is running at DDR3 generation memory, 32 gigabytes of RAM, dual dual channel in there, and currently 11 megabytes being used. So let's actually play a bit of this game and see how it runs. On the bottom right as well, you're gonna be seeing the inbuilt statistics of how the game is also running. We're gonna pick up some ammo. And we're gonna actually see how this game runs and see the performance of this game and how it looks. Um, it's currently actually one of my favorite games. So these are some alpha effects that have come up. And it's a cover based game. So what you're gonna actually find is this game is kind of like a steady pace game. It's not really about run and gun. It's about just being careful with how you actually move from place to place. And as you can see, even with all the alpha effects running at 1440p, there's a lot of headroom in here. You know, the game is well optimized. It's running really, really well. It's really, really nice to play. Currently sitting around 92 frames 
100 frames a second, 103 frames a second. It's really, really nicely optimized and it's actually really nice to play on a regular basis. Um, it just shows with what the coalition did this time round, where Epic didn't actually take on board actually the development of this game. Um, it's really well optimized. Um, Rod Ferguson, who's the game lead for the coalition under Microsoft Studios, um, really put a lot of time into actually optimizing this game for it to run really well. Um, so it didn't necessarily feel like a direct PC port. It feels like a game that was actually built from the ground up in terms of the performance. The graphical options that it actually has on there as well how the game looks how the game performs um the game mechanics in terms of how it runs with the keyboard and mouse it's a it's a real joy to play and um it's one of my favorite games that i love playing from time to time and this is how gears of war actually looks on the pc um right now sitting you know comfortably even with the cutscenes comfortably within the hundreds in terms of frame rate and how the game performs and um it's 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 a joy to play i really enjoy playing this game it's a lot of fun you know I, you can get really engrossed in it and it, it gets really intense in, intense in a fun way actually it's not too fatiguing that's one thing i really like about it it's not a fatiguing game to play you know it can be really casual but yeah it can get really intense depending on you know the difficulty you say in the modes that you're playing as well you can really adapt it to suit how you know you know what type of game you are whether you really want to be extra competitive or you just want to have a nice little casual shooting game to play to just you know really kill some downtime and just relax and that's one of the things i really enjoy about it but also apart from that i'm a real sucker for good image quality and that's that's one thing this game really really does the image quality is superb you know and it's really really well optimized and in most cases actually it runs really well especially when you're playing online if you scale it up with my gtx 1080 if you're running it in 4k it really really looks really nice and it actually runs really well and um this is just more of a general overview of how gears of war 4 runs on the system um if you want to see more game footage like this on the channel um give it a like get it a give it a subscribe like share comment you know if you if there's anything specific that you want to be seeing in these games that will make it easier to maybe understand and give you more aid in how games perform and look give me a shout um i'll try my best to incorporate it and just add more detail to the game play footage on the channel as well but overall this is just a general performance overview of how gears of war runs on my system on my gtx 1080 my core i7 4790k overclocked 32 gigabytes of ram on the z97 platform and yeah, I really love how this game performs. And that's it for me. Like and subscribe and share. This is Charles Ben on the Labrador Tech channel. Signing out.